evening everybody good evening good evening good afternoon good day hope everyone is doing well excuse me again you guys know i'm driving and it's very hot out here today guys so please ex excuse my appearance it's extremely hot when i say hot i mean it's like 100 degrees out here today it's hot the weather is hot but i'm so grateful to god to be on this afternoon again by the presence of the by the utterance of the holy ghost i just come always as you guys know to encourage the hearts and minds of people um, there is something i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk to you guys about something thank you holy ghost uh, before we go or before i begin to say anything let me just give your let's give god a glory Let's praise him. Let's acknowledge his presence. We don't come in ourselves. We come because there's a power that dwells in us that give us the utterance to speak. A power that dwells in us that give us the utterance to do the things that we do. To say the things that we say. To empower others. To impact lives. To be a world changer. Yes, it's not by might. It is it's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the spirit of the living God that dwells inside of us. Greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world folks give him some honor and some glory this afternoon this evening this morning whatever time zone you are in god is worthy to be praised he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy oh god he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy lift up the name of yeshua this evening lift up his name give him some glory give him praise give him honor he's worthy he is just a too worthy there's no numbers there's nothing no words that you can even put to how worthy this god is that sent his only begotten son to die on the cross of Calvary for me and for you god bless you this evening as you hear the word that the lord has to say um whatever it is motivational word for you whether it's a it's a prophetic word that the lord placed in my mouth may the lord bless you may you take heed of these words many times we hear the words but it comes from one ear and it goes to another the bible talks about Z uh, the lady of zarephath when, when elijah went to speak with the lady of zarephath she said he said i want you to add that to that too that bread and that oil you have those two things you have in your hands i want you to use those two things in order for you to uh, cook a cake for me to eat and the lady of Zarephath said my god i only have this for me and my son to cook and after we're done after i'm done cooking for me and my son and we're just gonna eat it and die but that was a profound moment that was a moment where she could either resist the blessing of god or could she or could she or she could either excuse me y'all or she could either take the blessing of God. She could resist it or she could take it. That was a choice that she had to make. And she had to know her God in order to make that choice. And, if I, and like she did, I would have done the same thing. I would have said, yes, sir, I will cook this meal for everybody to eat. I will cook this meal for you, prophet, to eat. Because the Bible said, if you believe in the prophet, so should thou be established. And she did that. It is a privilege. That's the word that God has given me this evening. It's a privilege. It's an honor to be connected to the vine. Oh my goodness, you didn't catch it. It is an honor, a privilege to be connected to the vine. The true vine. Uh, it, it's such an honor to be called a child of the living God. It's such an honor to be called uh, a child of the Most High, Creator of heaven and earth. He didn't take you as an orphan, but He took you as His own. My God Almighty, He loved you. He came on. He sent His only begotten Son on that cross to die for you and for me. So in this hour and times in our life these wicked days that we find ourselves in where calamities is happening from one level to another level find yourself privileged and indulge yourself in the word of god find yourself privileged to be a child of the most high god because it's within him that he hides you the book of psalm 91 said those that dwell under the secret place those that dwell within the secret place of the most high should be what should be protected under his wings 
if you are dwelling with God, if you are under his wings, if you have an intimate relationship with him, I'm not just talking about you calling the name of Jesus. I'm talking about you having an intimate relationship with the Father. Oh, glory, hallelujah. There is something that comes out of intimacy with God and it protects you. The blood, his blood covers you. His blood go with you. Holy Spirit commune with you each and every day of your life. I'm telling you, it is a privilege to be called a child of God. I don't just want to be called a child of God. I want to know that I know that I know that I am in interconnected with my father i want to know that i know that i am going on the right path i want to know that i know the holy spirit walks with me and talks with me i want to know that i know that in the last days when when all things is all over on when everything is hell is has been done on this earth when i enter into that word that different word i want to hear well done i don't want to hear no you made it in life but you you made it in half a way or you made it in john but you 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 barely made it in because there were things that you kept in your heart because there were things that was in your heart that was not corrected and we need to correct these things today if we want to stay on course with God if we want to be God's best friend he's my best friend he's my everything I entrust my life in his hands my soul inside of me uh, there's a soul that's covered this body is covering up our soul there's a soul inside of us that when we exit this word it comes out you remove yourself out of your body i remember when i was in coma your body comes out you can actually see your own self on the whatever they're doing with you you can see your own body and god if, it, if it's not meant for you to come back in this world you will stay in the beautiful most beautiful place in heaven most beauty of beauty but if God wants you back, he just wants you to have an encounter with him. And so he removes you out of this temple. There's this, this storage that he put you in and you remove and you see yourself. The same person, but you are looking at a different individual because your body is dead, it's gone. And now out of the body, we, 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 new life revives, new life comes out of that. How powerful is that? Count yourself privileged, my sisters and my brothers. Count it all joy to be a part of Jesus. Count it all joy, even though man may consider you nothing, even though they may curse you, even though they may abuse you, even though they may say all kinds of things about you. But count it all joy because Christ is the one that guides you, protects you, and that dwells with you. Count it all joy. Count, count it all joy. Count, count it all joy. That Jesus Christ resonates within your spirit. Count it all joy. Let it be a privilege. Say to yourself every morning, I am privileged to be called your child, Lord. And I'm thankful and I cover myself under the blood. Make sure every morning that you are covering yourself and your children under the blood. You are anointing your children underneath the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Make sure of that every day that the name of Yeshua does not leave you. Make sure every day that the name of Yeshua does not leave your mouth. I'm privileged. This is not a huge word, but this is an important word because there were some people that you grew up with that rejected God. Maybe it's a tire of us. There were some that did not want to accept God in their lives. And when you reject God, He rejects you. And today some of them are fallen. They're gone. But you are still here. Proclaiming and decreeing the name of Jesus Christ. You are still here. Under the anointing and the auction of the Holy Ghost. Preparing you for war. Preparing you to, to be strong in the things of God. Preparing you in and out. It's a privilege. Simple word. 
it is not a privilege for me to be in, influ, in, in, influenced uh, uh, by other people that's that's great it, uh, you know other great people has came in my life also but is it a privilege uh, uh, it, it's like I don't know what to say to God I'm thankful I'm grateful I'm appreciative that Jesus is my father what about you this evening let me say a quick prayer for all of you before I leave the broadcast. I just want you to keep that in mind. You are privileged. You are privileged that God sends the right people in your life at the right time and the right seasons to help you, to encourage you, to boost your spirit up, to keep you going no matter what, what the, no matter what it looks like, child of God, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it looks like. Don't give up. Don't give up your crown, baby. Don't take off your crown for nobody. God placed that crown on your head for a reason, queens. God placed that crown on your head for a reason, king. Don't take it off. The only time it comes off is that when you are done with your assignment on the earth and Jesus called you to give you a greater crown on your head. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. You are important to God. And I will always say this to the people of God. You are relevant to him. You are valuable to him. Anything missing or broken anything that concerns you concerns the heart of God don't remove your crown because somebody thinks that you are so pretty or you are so beautiful or you're so handsome or you are moving in you are moving extraordinarily in the in the things of God that they, they, they are intimidated by your spirit and so they want to remove the crown you can remove my crown because my crown is spiritually placed on my head by Jesus Yeshua Amashiach by my father Abba uh -huh, is spiritually placed on my head for a reason to protect me to guide me the blood the blood the blood the blood i circulate the blood of jesus over your homes this evening over your 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 jobs over your jobs over your house over your children the blood the blood of jesus that blood that was that was the, that was smeared on Calvary cross that blood comes to protect you that blood comes to give you life that blood comes to 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 to, to, to protect everything around you is that blood the blood of jesus it is that blood it is the blood don't forget that y'all the blood the blood go to your house things sometimes things do you not understand that people astral project into other people houses but i tell somebody the day somebody astral project in my house your body ain't going back in your body you're gonna that body's gonna die by fire in that house i'm telling you because i'm gonna curse it to the roots and i'm gonna curse every evil forces around your houses also i'm gonna curse everything that does not line up with god don't be discouraged folks don't be discouraged because you walk with your head up high don't be discouraged courage because in times of you going through stuff that you've been through nobody knew or understand your issues or your problem it was only you and God don't be discouraged because you feel like uh, God, uh, 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 they feel like you know oh she's too anointed or what is it on this person that is not on me it's because you find yourself in that place because you understand your your journey with God you understand there's no other place you can hardly be but in the presence of God you understand that nobody understands you uh, you are the misunderstood one why because your your going about is different your 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 the way you carry yourself with God is completely different and that's why you are misunderstood not because keep those crowns on those spiritual crowns keep it on because the devil hates it keep it on put on the, the full armor of God each and every day of your life put on your full armor and cover yourself under the blood I said blood of Jesus protect you protect you protect you I send sweet spirit of the Holy Ghost towards all of you this evening in the name of Jesus listen again you know who this is it's best of life I love you guys so much please continue to pray for breath of life prayer and intercessory ministry God is taking us great 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 places and if you don't have a home church to go to you don't have nowhere to to uh, that you find yourself in to, to actually receive the uncompromised word of God find yourself to a place look at my church we do everything online so it's even easier easier for you go on um, um, whatsapp prayer uh, excuse me I will send a link I will, I will actually connect the link it's on what you go on whatsapp and my prayer my entire prayer uh, 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 stuff is on WhatsApp, and everybody comes on WhatsApp. We pray, we do a lot of stuff. We even get together on WhatsApp. Um, we we plan conferences on WhatsApp. Come and join Breath of Life. We love to have you as our own. God bless you, and God be with you. Love you so much, Pastor Life.